Well, hello everybody, my name is Eddie Cole and welcome to my channel. Well, it happened, God damn it! I am turning into a political channel. I guess it was eminent and, and unavoidable that it would happen at some point. It happened much sooner than I thought it would. Uh, yesterday I went around asking from some people uh, who watch my channel actively or inactively about things I should talk about uh, on this channel. Some uh, like, uh, like because I, I had made the video before this talking about that I would reform my channel to be more towards education and towards the topics I enjoy and and I got some good uh, good suggestions. Uh, a few people suggested talking about Ukraine, which that's probably something that I could do at one point. Uh, some people suggested to talk about you know art and music and that stuff, and some wanted some more philo uh, more specific philosophical topics. But I actually one one that I think I should talk about and well you can see it from the from the title which is education and the education system and the various systems of education. I, I picked it not only because I well well it's an important topic but it's also kind of relevant right now. You know there's been Quite a lot of talk about in the U.S. especially, you know, about uh, this whole thing of the left indo indoctrinating the young in schools, you know, the LGBT issues. And one thing that I read today about uh, was the issues in schools in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is fucking collapsing, if you didn't know. The, that country is on the brink of doom. Like the the whole weed export thing, and I heard that in in Sri Lankan schools they couldn't do exams for for a little while because uh because they didn't have enough ink for that, or or they weren't able to print. Yeah, well, yeah, they didn't have enough ink. I I think it was that, and and anyway, like that 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 whole thing is fucking uh and uh, the thing i read today about was that apparently sri lanka is closing its schools for some time i don't know how long but they are doing that but yeah that's uh that's that's why this is sort of a relevant topic and especially that whole indoctrination uh thing that i talked about how how the left is now indoctrinating people in schools uh yeah that's weird because i i myself i'm a firm be believer in the fact that uh the education system might as well be called the system of indoctrination of the young you know the whole education system that we have here in the west it's basically stood from from the 1800s uh, actually even even considering well maybe even the late 1700s you know when when factory when industrialization started that's that's the basic premise of why schools and the education system uh, even grew in the first place it was a way of indoctrinating people to work towards work and that has been has ever since been the main purpose of of the education system to indoctrinate people towards obedience and towards work and it becomes very obvious when you actually think about it you know we we aren't really allowed to question the authorities and it it goes from all levels of education it starts from <laughs> from elementary school and it goes all the way to universities you know we we hear a lot about universities banning 
lots of both uh, faculty members and and students for presenting opinions or for uh, going against something that the university has decided. It's that's that's what's happening quite a lot, and it's sad to see it happen. But the it, it is funny because it has the system has definitely evolved from 1800s. No shit, it has, of course. Uh, but it has evolved in a in a kind of a weird way, because what they are teaching in schools nowadays it goes directly against this idea of uh, being favorable towards the authoritarian system of education, if it can be called that. You know, because we we are of course we we are taught science, we are taught critical thinking to some extent. However, I would I would add it as a fucking whole course in itself. You know, critical thinking. If I was the dictator of the world, I would do that. But it's weird. You know, there there is this incompatibility, which is causing. A lot, you know, which it might be the main cause of, uh, you know, faculty members and students and the higher ups of large schools being kind of toe to toe against each other. It is true. One one thing I I think um, Noam Chomsky in I think it was ninety one when he was asked about the education system in. Uh, I don't actually remember what it exactly was, but I think he said it very wisely. Uh, one thing about the education system, which is that that stupidity is necessary within the education system. You know, it's this system that well, we have all all of this what we students consider stupid. You know, we have these stupid assignments and stupid exams and whatever. All of this, and you know, the only people who are willing to do these, these exams, these actually study these stupid things and do these stupid assignments, whatever, are the people who are willing, you know, to take the next step, while as most people are not willing to do this. They, they, they don't really subjugate themselves towards the authority, which, which basically means that less and less people will pursue higher education and the people who who are actually willing to put themselves through these stupid I, I don't know why I say it in air quotes because they are in a way stupid they are made in that way purposefully uh, so the, these people who are willing to do those stupid tasks are exactly the people who are willing to pursue a higher education in which they are then uh, taught. Well, well, it kind of goes in a circle. The, in the, those people who are willing to pursue a higher education, in then they are more uh, usually taught more against the authorities. You know, people who people who pursue a higher education o- often go towards humanities, in which, of course, they are thought to be very, very, you know, very critical of capitalism and, and the whole system in itself. That's logical. But then again, those people who aren't willing to pursue higher educations and are, you know, well, these tasks are stupid, I'm just not gonna do them, I'm not gonna do the exams correctly, I'm, I'm just not gonna study well. Those people are also the words. Uh, negative feelings. Towards, uh, they have negative feelings towards the authoritarian education system and thus towards the authoritarian system in itself. So you you can see how this whole thing is not really sustainable. One day it will break. It can't. It can't have its grasp on the world forever. But, but here's the big but here, you know, which is that the system is kind of kind of against us 
in every every way because uh you know i said that people who pursue higher education they often go towards humanities but even more often they go towards science and technology why is that well the simple reason is that uh large corporations need those they need scientists they need engineers they need well they need social scientists which which that i i guess that can be considered a humanity in a humanity you know part of the humanities in some way but they are usually used by the corporations in a much more how would i say it in a much more tyrannical way i guess this all leads to the fact that this authoritarian system that we are taught towards will never collapse because more and more people go towards science and not the humanities like you know philosophy political sciences and whatever because if more people were to go towards those subjects then more and more people would most definitely understand why the system is not sustainable in the, at, at least not in the long term and if it is sustainable it will only be sustainable to those who can live within it which is the one percent and the rest are going to live so miserable lives and you know that's that's basically the education system for you like w one thing that i mentioned briefly there was that uh how i think that more critical thinking should be uh a part of like well the mandatory schools which differ from country to country you know i think i think in the us you only have to uh well actually do you have to i'm not sure uh well for example here in finland the age that you have to study up until went up by three years here now because uh before uh before like last year you only had to study up until you were 15 uh now you have to study up until you were you are uh, 18 so you have to after middle school go to either high school or Ammattikoulu. I don't know what what that could be called in English because there isn't really an American or a British uh, equivalent for ammattikoulu. It's basically where you where you if you go to high school you almost it's almost necessary to go to a higher education from there and if you go to ammattikoulu you can just usually start working right from there. That's basically how the Finnish uh well, it's not a higher education, but that level of education works here in Finland. And what I was talking about was that, uh, well, for example, well, I think that humanities just should be more prevalent in mandatory, in mandatory school, schools, you know, in elementary school and middle school, and even then in high school and ammattikoulu, which yeah they they definitely should i mean the level of humanities we are taught is well we we learn history and we learn well that's about it we we we'll, uh, we have in middle school we do have uh on one year we have like i guess it could be called social studies but yeah that's and, and actually now that i mention it uh, like i i think that there was actually like well it was actually a long time ago it was like five or six or seven years ago when there was a proposition i think it was even in the parliament uh, of finland that the that philosophy should be a uh, part of the the mandatory education I think so too, because what we are taught about philosophy in in mandatory school, we aren't actually taught about philosophy in any any way. We are taught about 
a few uh, philosophical figures. I mean, I remember there was in uh, elementary school we talked a bit about I, I don't know, like Socrates maybe, Plato a bit. Like there was some in when we went to uh, ancient Greece in in history, there there were like maybe mentions of them, not like any of their ideas. And then in eighth grade, I remember there being like a few paragraphs about Marx, but of course not about any of his ideas. And and even when considering that, I also remember that that whole uh, that was like a. Uh, like a chapter on on the on you know eighteen the uh, mid eighteen hundreds you know uh, social revolutions well not revolutions necessarily but the rise of socialism and communism uh, or the birth of socialism and communism you know and how they exactly described socialism and communism was I I always will remember this it was the most fucking absurd. Thing I've ever heard. Socialism is, uh, you know, when when government has control of the means of production and it is uh, done democratically. This system, but then uh, communism is the exact same system, except uh, when it is uh, done through revolutionary means. I like this. I get, I think that is a showcase of why why <laughs> our education system is kind of failing if if it is that one sided if there is like so n- not a single piece of any historical accuracy towards the other side uh, i i don't understand and i guess it's actually pretty relevant here in finland because you know well we don't like communists much here and Especially we, we we don't like Marxist Leninists here. It's kind of ironic in itself, you know. We don't like Lenin here. You know the man we owe our independence to. I don't know how that works, or or I mean I I I know that Lenin Lenin of course thought that Finland would at one point just become its own independent communist uh, or socialist state, but he didn't really do anything towards that. I mean, he barely helped in 1980, the Reds. But yeah, it's weird. It's really weird how how things have gone to this. The education system. So messed up. Hmm. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? <sighs> so, in conclusion, the education system is kind of messed up, and the system is the the teaching of history, humanities, philosophy, whatever is ever so slightly favored towards the right wing. So, yeah, uh, I guess I should just close it off there. Thank you for watching this and. This is probably the kind of videos you'll be seeing <laughs> from now on. I don't know. I'm just testing testing out the waters a bit. If I re- if I receive some like large backlash from this, then it's going to motivate me even more. <laughs> but if if all goes well, I think I think this might be the new format. And I mean, I'm I'm of course very curious. I know that many people don't comment in my comments, but if you have anything to say please do comment i am more than interested to hear what people think it is my greatest delight thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you next time thank you and goodbye